Slow storage backups, what are those? Good afternoon morning and welcome to Turbo Tortoise Tech. If you're new here, I'm Reese of the 4-piece warranty of Wiki Triple XL. And we have the XS1000 on the channel today. And it's actually the first USB Type-C external storage device that we've tested on the channel. Everything else has been NVMEs and I think a two, I think the only 2.5 we've ever done is actually the Hikvision E100, if memory serves. And it usually does. It is a, that's why I have all of these gray hairs. It's all the memories of how you guys give me shtick in the comments. I'm joking. I, I honestly am very blessed there on to have a very supportive and loving community. And I love you back. Okay, just saying. Anyway, XS1000, let's get on topic <laughs> for a change. It's really, really small. I mean, it's absolutely tiny. This thing, it could literally top pocket. You could almost put this in your wallet or your handbag or your purse or whatever. If you were to add this to your laptop bag, etc., then this is absolutely tiny. And the fact that then I can just plug it into anything with a USB 3 and get like exceptionally good transfer speeds is very nice. I do like this direction from brands to put the, basically an NVMe into a space like that big. And because it's a lower cost NVMe, it helps to bring the cost down of a storage device like this. Because from what I can see, this is one of the cheaper ones that we'll find on the EVTEC store. So two terabytes over here for two and a half grand. And it is then a mobile product. And performance testing, it performed almost exactly as I expected. The caching on these drives is not going to be exceptional and it's not going to do ultra massive data files for a very long time, which is almost exactly what I observed from what you'll see on the screen. It starts off at like seven, 800 megabytes per second on a file transfer in Windows coming from a Gen 3 NVMe, uh, a pretty good one in the Western Digital SN570, 2TB, it's a pretty solid NVMe itself. So I thought, let me transfer my Steam library onto here because it's like 800 gig. And it did exactly what I expected. The first like 100 gig was pretty fast and fluid and maxed it out. And then it dropped to about 180 megabytes per second, which is still very fast. That's still pretty good going for a drive. So it's not a slouch and small file handling, as you'll see by the crystal disk mark on your screen, was also pretty much average. Nothing to write home about, but good enough. And it's solid state storage. So you can transfer to this connected like once every five years, I think it is, and then your backups will be complete on there. So if you're backing up on a monthly basis and just connecting it for that, then this could last you something like 10 years. And, and especially if you don't overfill them, they tend to get a bit like damaged almost at like 80% or more uh, on full generally with SSDs. It's something that I've observed. But price versus performance being considered if you're dealing with like psds and those sorts of files and you know let's say your average file size that you're going to be transferring is between 50 and 100 gig then it's going to do that almost instantly as you can see from the transfer rates on your screen it's going to do quite well it's not really set up to be like a gaming drive or anything like that but it's still got pretty good small file handling and as a backup or like media drive or something to that effect i mean look at the size of it that's just incredible part for me. It's just like how small they've made it. Um, and operating temperatures were good. It was even after all of that, I gave it a good grab and just tried to feel like how hot it was getting. And it wasn't too hot to the touch. It didn't feel like it was, it was warm, don't get me wrong, but it didn't feel like it was gonna burn me or anything like that. So you can even do like lots of heavy file transfer and then just throw it in your bag. And today's hot, I'm actually perspiring right here on the set um, because it's like 30 degrees in plus right now uh, even in my studio outside is even hotter it's like a scorcher today in Johannesburg so yeah um, it, it's a warm day and it's still performed like that well so I really like this I think it's pretty solid they do have a higher performance model in the XS2000 so you might want to look at that as well all of that obviously available on EVTEC anywho that is all I have for you on the XS1000, a pretty straightforward, neat little product. If you have enjoyed this review, please do hit us up with a like and subscribe, and I will see you on the flip side. I feel more pain if we're speaking truth, cause when the daylight comes I still